I'm Matias Sepulveda, uh, orthopedic surgeon from Chile. We're here with Micaela, our model. We're going to show you uh, some uh, kinds of different types of immobilizations uh, that we use mainly in trauma practice. Uh, these are very easy and common uh, type of immobilizations. Uh, we're here with the support of uh, the Hospital Roberto del Rio de Santiago, uh, COTI, that's Capacitaciones in Orthopedia and Traumatology, uh, and the support of teachers from the Universidad Austral uh, de Valdivia. This is the final result of a short leg uh, cast. You have the uh, padded uh, shape here. You can also see all the five toes, and it's very well molded to the shape of the leg. This is the final result of a long leg cast molded in a triangular shape in the leg and a square shape in the tight. Also with a <clears throat> molded zone here in the supracondylar uh, zone, also the patella and the patellar tendon protecting the popliteal uh, region and uh, with padded in the ends of the cast with uh, some space to move the toes. This is the final result of a long arm cast with a well-shaped uh, forearm and protected the um, elbow and also padded well in the ends of the cast. This is the final result of a splint in the little finger. You can see the well-protected area uh, not very tight and the other fingers free to move.